back from the bit where I've just finished. Just brought the concrete to here. About four or five uh, mixerfuls. And I've just brought the concrete along the trench to the levelling bricks each time. I've removed the bricks mostly, I've only left one in as I've come along. So if the bricks were in the right place, then it should be level. There's the step that's been broken away and will need to be rebuilt once that concrete's gone off at that end. Uh, but basically just a concrete filled trench with a paving flag wall on the high side and just some bricks to stop the concrete spreading on that side. Uh, there may be some decorative treatment in the form of stone and plants um, at a later stage. quick update on the garden railway, mostly to remind me of where I've got to in the week, penultimate week before Easter. So the uh, steps have been remodelled so that we've now got that pier bridging piece from there and this step has been taken back um, about six to eight inches. The trench has been dug. I had considered using landscape fabric and gravel with wooden pegs for something to screw the track to. I then thought while I was mixing concrete for another job I, for the steps I might as well mix some so there's some four mixer loads of concrete in there and it helps to hold the flag return the back. That hopefully then the last bit to the track bed to run over the end of the concrete to the wood. And the wood is just about complete all the way around. That corner there in front of the shed. A bit shaky. Possibly to have a lift out bridge for access to the shed door. And then round back to the steps again. Just had a bit of uh, light leaking in there, it's interesting. And around this corner, back to the, and across the step. No idea how it's going to work when we start trying to put the track down. <laughs> 